Once accepted, there's a few things you're going to want to do right away to get the ball rolling. I'm Danny with KE Realty and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is give a final acknowledgement or bottom line the purchase agreement. What this is going to do is this is going to give your final approval on any changes, if there have been any, um, that the seller has made to the contract. So whether or not there's any changes or not, you do need to bottom line that signature. Now this is going to do what's called put you under contract. We use that term a lot and you'll hear us say that. So that's a term under contract and it means that you're now in a legally binding contract with the seller to purchase that home. Once that's done, you'll need to go ahead and deposit your earnest money. Now, earnest money is going to be deposited ideally within 24 hours. It will be sent to either the buyer's broker or the title agency. And the acceptable forms of payment are going to be personal check, cashier's check, an ACH payment, or wire transfer. Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and get your home inspection ordered. Now, it's important to get your home inspection ordered right away because you have about five to 10 days to get this home inspection done, depending on what's outlined in your contract. And if you don't know any home inspectors, that's okay. We have a list that we provide to our clients and you're welcome to use any of those. They've served our clients well in the past, but we do recommend that you choose whichever home inspector you're most comfortable with. While all that's happening, um, your agent or myself will be packaging up your purchase agreement and sending it over to both the lender and the title company. Once the lender has that, they're going to go ahead and reach out to you, confirm your intent to proceed, get you out final or sorry, initial loan disclosures and other loan documents. They may also require from you some uh, additional verification forms to get their process started. The title company is going to be confirming your personal information as well. There's not a lot to do with them at this time, but go ahead and get that personal information confirmed. You really want to stay on top of the loan stuff and things with title because those are going to keep your transaction moving along smoothly as we go forward. So here's some big things that you don't want to do. Do not open any new lines of credit, no new credit cards. Don't go buy a new car, no big purchases. Don't go open up that store credit card because you want to buy new appliances for the house. Don't change your job. Don't quit your job. Those are all things that could negatively impact your ability to purchase this home. So if you are thinking about doing any of those things, chat with your lender before making any of those moves. All right. These are the steps that are going to get you started. You're going to have a smooth transaction. So let us know if you have any questions.